Okay, look, I have to be honest with y'all. A few minutes ago, I got extremely frustrated. I was mad at my computer. I was talking to the screen, ready to throw it out into my yard because I had power on. Five minutes later, in the middle of something, it shut down, power itself off. I power back on. Three minutes later, bam, back off. I was ticked, so I decided to take a break. <laughs> Count to 10. And I thought I'd come up here, I'd set up the video camera, and I'd tell y'all about my day. Don't know what I'm going to say yet, but we'll see. <laughs> see, Brianna's coming this weekend. She's four. My daughter, she'll be here. I wanted to go pick out a couple little toys or whatever for her when she came, uh, put in her little Halloween basket or whatever. I only had a little bit of money, so I thought 99 cent store rocks. I'll go there, uh, hook her up. 99 cent good finds anyway hey don't knock it don't knock it don't be tripping you know you go there too anyway I even buy some food there you know what I'm saying I I'm cheap I guess <laughs> but I'll, I'll buy food there I'll buy like it ain't macaroni and cheese it's kind of like cheesy noodles or something like that I don't know but it's the same thing it just doesn't say craft on it I don't care I'm not prejudiced no. I don't know who mr. Kraft is either anyway no I like cheese you know, I don't care if the alphabet soup is only in Spanish. I don't care if the little letters spell out C or yes, doesn't matter to me. I don't care if the milk has like a three hour shelf life. I drink pretty fast. You know, I'll hook that stuff up in some macaroni and cheese, stir it up. Tell Brie hey baby, hold your nose like this, eat it real fast, it'll be all right. You know, so I don't care. Anyway, but what I like to do there, like I said, I'll buy Brianna some little things here and there, but I even do my Christmas shopping there. Oh yeah, I'm kind of <clears throat> a bargain hunter. That's what I like to call I call myself frugal, a bargain hunter, a good steward, a bargain hunter. That's what I am. Uh, don't look at me like that. You know you do the same thing. Got some folks that just don't deserve a $10 thing. You hook them up with a couple 99 cent things, you know, and be like, it's the thought that counts and all that. Well, I guess I can say this. I won't get in trouble. My mom doesn't know how to use a computer, really, so she doesn't get online, so she ain't gonna see it. I just went and bought my mom Killer is on at the 99 cent store DVDs on special. So I got her this cool Richard Simmons workout greatest hits comes with a free cookbook. She's gonna love that. She's gonna love it. She better love it. So I'm cheap. Bargain hunter. That's me. Bargain hunter. You go through my house. Anybody that's been to my house knows I'm a bargain hunter. Especially if they've been in the guest bathroom. Because you go in the guest bathroom, they're like, oh, it smells nice and pretty. Then you see my little soaps and my little soap dish laid out with the little lotions and the little shampoos, all of these nice shampoos. They know I'm a bargain hunter though, because all the labels say stuff like Holiday Inn, um, Best Western, Motel 6. Look, you think I'm kidding? Let's see. Y'all see this? Holiday Inn Select. Yeah, man. The hookup. Anyway. Not cheap, bargain hunter, remember that. Anyway, and look, I, I can't help it. It is not my fault. I was destined to be like this. My family, I got it. I can tell you who I got it from, specifically. Now y'all probably have one of these, one of these kind of relatives, all right? She goes online, she shops all year round. She buys her stuff, she buys like nice stuff. She's going online, you know, that not that stuff that's like, not available in stores. Get your very own Chia Joey. Three payments of $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Void where prohibited. But not that kind of stuff. She gets the good stuff. So she goes online, buys the nice stuff, the nice jewelry, the vintage looking stuff, the stuff that's high, even, you know, young folks are like, she ain't very young. Anyway, so she'll buy this stuff. But then, now, this is a bargain hunter for you. This is where I get it. You know, say she buys that sterling silver beautiful silver pendant or whatever and it's got you know the emerald inlay and the little jewels or whatever and then it comes with a free gift ah you already know where I'm headed right so she gets this beautiful $300 pendant with the free gift yours to keep just for trying you know the little plastic 
wallet with Velcro. That one. Sure enough, bank it. Put it in the bank. That is my Christmas present this year. That will be when I open my present. Woo, look at that. A plastic Velcro wallet. And she got it from just for me. She spent all that time picking it out. And she will lie and tell me how long she tried to pick it out. I wonder if I found something you'd really like. Mm. Yeah. Pitiful, aren't we? Pretty pitiful. Anyway, I don't have to have fancy stuff. I've had a lot in my life and I've had nothing. I come from a family we didn't have very much at all. We, you know, wasn't even paycheck to paycheck. It was government, you know, funded stuff and living in the housing projects when I was growing up. And then there were also times where I've had a lot where I could go spend hundred dollars on a meal for me and a date or whatever. That, I know how to have a lot and I know how to have nothing. You know, I'm cool with that because that's not really what real blessings are anyway. Real blessings are having peace in the midst of the storm. Knowing that when you feel unloved and you look around and you feel friendless, that you have a friend and that you are loved. That he has plans for you and they're good plans for you. Even though you can't see tomorrow, you know he's got your tomorrow. That's real blessings. I'm out. She said, heaven only knows everything that I've been through. How could you know what somebody told you?